Right. We've successfully loaded Laser GIS for ArcPad on our Windows mobile device. Launching ArcPad, I want to start a new map. Once we get to the new map, you're going to notice the Laser GIS icon on the top toolbar. Go ahead and tap the Laser GIS icon, and this is where we're going to go ahead and set up the preferences for Laser GIS. We're always going to work left to right on the Laser GIS toolbar. Go ahead and tap the Project Setup drop down, and we want to go into Rangefinder Connectivity Settings. Once in there, you're going to see the protocol of the Laser Tech Impulse. I'm going to go ahead and use the drop down and choose Laser GIS. Remember the COM port that we used earlier when we hooked up via Bluetooth and choose that right COM port. Press OK and we're back to the main map. We want to again go back into the project setup and activate the rangefinder. As soon as the rangefinder is active, you're going to see the laser connecting. It's going to show you the true. It's going to show you the true pulse model and its firmware version. Once the rangefinder is active, it takes you back to the main map, and we want to go back into project setup. From here, we want to go down to laser GIS preferences, and here we're going to be able to set up the units, the units of feet, meters, or yards, and we can set our instrument height. I'm going to use five feet. And we also use a target height. I'm going to set my target height at zero. The next tab on the bottom is north. And this is where we're able to set our azimuth values. We're going to set our magnetic north, or you can set a, a true north. Today I'm going to use magnetic north, and I'm using a GPS device where it's going to automatically set the declination. The next tab is attributes. Under attributes, you're going to see all laser GIS preferences. These are all defaulted checkmarked. I'm going to go ahead and leave all these attributes checked. Press the OK. We're back at the map. Now we want to go ahead and press the project setup. And this is where we need to add some layers. Laser GIS has added some default layers. We want to go ahead and choose a couple layers here. The simple points, hit the plus, and then we're going to add a reference points layer hit the plus. From there, hit the green check mark that takes us back to our map.